Assalomu alaykum. Bugun siz uchun biz uchun berilgan yana bir imkon. Takrorlanmas ajoyib sana. Hech narsa tinchingizni buza olmaydigan darajada kuchli bo'ling. Bir kuni bir boksçı qayg'uda edi. Buning sababini undan so'rashganda, salbiy voqealarni o'ylashga izn berganini aytadi. Demak, ijobiy fikrlang. Ijobiy fikrlargina insonga kuch bera oladi. Maktab hayoti ko'rsatuvi efirda. Sizning strategiyalaringiz faqat o'zingiznikidir. Hech qachon o'zingizning shaxsiy rivojlanish mashg'ulotlaringizni tanishlaringiz bilan muhokama qilmang. O'zgalar shaxsiy siringizning qadrini tushunmasligi mumkin. Siz muvaffaqiyatga erishganda sizning xat-harakatlaringizni e'tiborga olmay, barchasiga o'sha mashg'ulotlar orqali erishgansiz deb o'ylaydilar. Shuning uchun bu narsalarni o'zingizda saqlang. Yangiliklar, so'nggi nashrdagi kitoblar va dolzar voqea hodisalar haqida xabardor bo'lib turing. Ko'plab yetuk shaxslar kuniga 5-6 ta gazeta o'qiydilar. Har bir gazetani sinchkovlik bilan o'qishingiz shart emas, faqat bilingki, nimaga e'tibor berish, nimani o'tkazib yuborish va nimani boshqa vaqt o'qish uchun olib qo'yish kerak. Baxtli va jo'shqin hayotning asosiy ikki omili me'yor va vazminlikdir. Har bir ishda muvozanatni saqlash lozim va haddan oshmaslik kerak. Kimyo va biologiya fanlari chuqurlashtirib o'tiladigan Guliston shahridagi prezident maktabida laboratoriya mashg'ulotlarini kuzatsangiz, yosh tadqiqotchilarning bu borada ilmiy ishlar qilishiga shubha qilmaysiz. Hozirgi sahifamizda laboratoriya dars jarayonlarini tomosha qilasiz. Laboratoriya mashg'ulotlarining samaradorligi unga o'quvchilarning e'tibori, nazariy bilimining chuqurligi bilan belgilanadi. Laboratoriya mashg'ulotlarida har bir o'quvchi bajarilgan ishning nazariy ma'lumoti, izchilligi haqida tasavvurga ega bo'lsagina, tajribalar yaxshi samara beradi. Yuqori sinf o'quvchilariga kislotalar va asoslar mavzusida bilim berilmoqda. Bu orqali o'quvchilar kislotalarni asoslar bilan neytrallash bo'yicha tajribaga ega bo'lmoqdalar. Kimyo fani o'qituvchisi Durinaya fikrlariga quloq tutamiz. What I have added Okay. Uh, Phenoxyl. Okay. So one is colorless, another is pink. 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 Okay. Now let's add this one. This is called what? Methyl orange. Methyl orange. This is another indicator. Methyl orange. Let's add two drops. Can you see the color? Yes. The same in this one. Yellow. Yellow. Can you see the color change? Yes. Okay. One is Red, 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 pink, and another is yellow. yellow. Let me show you the color change. You can see on the screen color in the acid when you are using the litmus. Fine. So it will change into what? Into red. a red color. Hurmatli teletomoshabillar, ayni vaqtda siz Gulson shahridagi prezident maktabi hayot haqidagi lavhalarni tomosha qilyapsiz. The teacher uh, examiner they will give you slide, right? And you have to observe in the microscope and you have to tell what you have observed. Biologiya fani o'qituvchisi Ahmed Ziyad qonning hujayraviy tuzilishini mikroskopda o'rganish mavzusida o'quvchilarga bilim beryapti. But in the exam they will remove this pen and they will tell you what you observe in this microscope slide. You have to write in the paper. How is the shape draw the diagram number one question. Number two question sometime the examiner will observe you. For example I am examiner. I came from Cambridge and I have to take exam here. So when I come to the exam Hall, I will see how the students handle the microscope, how the student handle the slide, how they work with the microscope. I will observe you. It is the brightness of microscope. Light. Is it clear? Lamp. I mean lamp. Is it clear? Yes. Understood? Okay. One thing to be remember, while you are handling a microscope in exam, the examiner will be with you. Lamp. And you can see lamp downside. This is the lamp. When you apply electric current, this lamp will illuminate, right? And this light will basically fall on the specimen. And when it's reflecting back, then it makes image that we see in the microscope. Shahmat, bu shunchaki o'yin emas. U sport, fan va san'atdir. Bugun Gulson shahridagi prezident maktabi o'quvchilari shahmat tugaragiga qatnashadi va juda ham qiziqadi, chunki u kuchlilar o'yinidir. Mantiqiy fikrlay oladigan o'quvchilar shahmat o'yiniga qiziqmasligi mumkin emas. Ya 
Azizlar, Gulson shahridagi prezident maktabi hayot haqida tayyorlagan xabar va lavhalarimiz mana shulardan iborat edi. Keyingi dasturlarimizda uchrashguncha xayr, salomat bo'ling.